On the 5th of May 1958, at a secret airbase at Melun, France, French Air Force officials were busy preparing for the test launch of a new aircraft. The new aircraft looked so strange and mystifying. It appeared as if the head and the body of a conventional aircraft stuck into a big drum. It looked straight out of science fiction. This was Senecma C-450, Coleopter. It was a radical concept, a plane with no wings. The unique design of the aircraft created a media sensation. But the big question is, will it fly? In December 1959, Senecma Coleopter ignited its thrusters and took to the sky. Its first mission was a success. It stunned the world. One of the basic requirements for any aircraft is the runway, without which it would be useless. The bigger the aircraft, the longer the runway. For example, a modern combat jet requires a runway of minimum of 500 feet. A bigger cargo plane like C-130 requires a runway of 5,000 feet. It was for this reason that in any war, the runway is always the first target. It was obvious the runway was a liability and had to be overcome. Hence, the concept of VTOL or vertical takeoff and landing was born. The planes relying on VTOL need no runways and could take off and land anywhere. Many designs of VTOL existed, but there were no VTOL design that could match the speed and agility of a conventional fighter jet. It was exactly this problem Senexmo's Coleopter wanted to address. Senecmo C-450 Coleopter stood 26.4 feet tall with a total wingspan of 15.10 feet. It weighed 3,000 kgs. Coleopter is powered by Senecmo's Atar 101E turbojet, producing 3,700 kgs of thrust. The intakes for the engine were placed at the two sides of the cockpit. There were four stabilizing fins at the bottom of the drum. Supporting the full weight was four shock-observing landing gears with tires. Another unique feature of this plane was a pilot's tilting chair. Since the aircraft took off vertically and was to later move horizontally, the pilot's chair has to be adjusted for this. Augustus Morel was a pilot hired for the test flight. He operated the aircraft with a joystick kind of control. Instrumentation was rudimentary and was not accurate. The real goal of the plane was to take off vertically and then achieve horizontal flight like a normal aircraft. During the test phase, the aircraft took off and landed vertically as planned. In spite of its initial success, the aircraft's stability was a big problem. Because of the lack of a delta wing, the Coleopter was not able to dampen rolling. The aircraft was rotating about its axis and the pilot was not able to have an accurate steering control of the aircraft. Morel flew the aircraft eight times successfully. On its ninth flight, Morel tried horizontal flight. The aircraft briefly flew horizontal and then began to oscillate violently. It started to descend and the pilot lost control of the aircraft. Just 160 feet above the ground, the pilot ejected and the plane crashed. The Coleopter was destroyed in the crash and the pilot was badly injured. After this, the money for building a new prototype never materialized and the French government later scrapped the program. 